boo. <laughs> I hope I didn't scare you. Well, actually I do. Welcome to DRD tonight. That's right. I'm here now. And there's nothing to fear. Well, there's everything to fear. The little blonde blew herself up yet again. Well, the cat's down two lives. Hopefully the rest will go quickly and she'll be gone forever. And then I can simply take over, which is after all what we all really do want now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So let's begin with one of my favorite things. Shall we play some mind games? Mm -hmm. You know the kind. Well, you don't know if you're left or right. Here or there. Here or there. Coming or going? Are you upside down, darling? Or simply deep down? Shall we find out? Let's just see about that. So join me as we take a look at what the US military's psychological warfare did during some of its campaigns to scare the living hell out of its parents. Are you ready? Are you scared? Are you afraid? You should be, and you've been warned. So let's just see what we can find out. Come along, my darlings. Shall we begin? Or have we already ended? Patton is Patton, and there will never be denying his place in military history as an absolute genius of warfare. But in the psychological warfare game, no one ranks to me as quite as brilliant as the Lieutenant Colonel Edward G. Lansdale. Lieutenant Colonel Lansdale was sent to the Philippines in September of 1950. Not a very good time for our military forces, as our incredibly sexy men and women in uniform were getting their hot asses kicked by the communists, and well, we are not going to have that. Instead, we have Lieutenant Colonel Lansdale on our side, a brilliant man who took his time, learned the lay of the land, so to speak, the local customs and folklores, found something so delightfully interesting. He found out about the Ashwok. Ashwok, you say? For our purposes, it's a vampire with a few extra little goodies. Now, the villagers are terrified of Ashwok. An Ashwok kills like a vampire, but also can shape shift. Ooh, how much fun! And also takes the form of something delightfully called a visceral sucker. Ah! I don't know what that is, but it sounds fabulous. Maybe it's a delightful new party ride. Ooh, that would be a fun position, don't you think? Or at the very least, it's a Mm, a yummy new cocktail. Oh, but I digress. Ashwook Vampire. Now we know what we're going after. The very wise Lieutenant Colonel started a rumor that the Ashwok were real and alive and in the outskirts of the village. And he waited. And he took his time, like you should after all. Mm -hmm. Till the rumor started to deliciously bubble, and then on the night of a full moon, while the communists were out on patrol, he sent his very best forces to follow them, waiting and watching until they got deep into the forest, and then the very last communist soldier in line was grabbed by our military and killed. Ashwick style, of course with two punctures in the side of his neck 
and they took his body and they flipped it upside down because, well, the blood has to drain out. And all of it must because, if you believe it, it's just sloppy killed and <sighs> no respectable monster that I know leaves leftovers. Mm -hmm. It's just not good form. Now, the blood's all gone and the military takes the body and throws it in the middle of the village. Well, the next morning, it didn't take long for most of the villagers in complete terror to hightail it right out of there. The communists followed shortly after, making a relatively easy victory for the genius of Lieutenant Colonel Lansdale. Well done, Colonel. I always love a good bite. Mm, I'm getting a little hungry now. Mm, what about you? Now, my darling, shall we fast forward a bit? Good. Let's go to the Vietnam War and the United States military's use of ghosts. Don't even think, Casper. Don't get me started on that. <sighs> breathe. Evil thoughts, breathe. Let it out. Psyops and ghosts in Vietnam, a delightful combination. Let me tell you how they pulled this one off. It seems that in certain villages in Vietnam, they're terrified of what's called a wandering soul. A wandering soul is that of someone who's died and was never buried. Without being disrespectful, it is reasonable to presume that during any conflict, especially a war, there are a large number of bodies remaining unburied. Thus a huge number of wandering soul ghosts. And the military took a page right out of that big, thick, naughty black psyops book and created the ghost tapes. That's right, the ghost tapes. Primarily and infamously famous is ghost tape number 10. Interested? Have a listen to ghost tape number 10. That's right, here it is, the actual tape for you. It begins with the sounds of the artist by the moaning and wailing of a little girl, sad, devastated, and heartbroken at the loss of a loved one, followed next by the wailing laments of a soldier killed in war, an unjust war that he never should have fought. He laments again, missing his family, knowing that because he foolishly participated in this conflict, he was damned to hell and had to walk the earth as a ghost wandering alone for the While these tapes may sound like a party mix to me, they were played from airplanes, from the sea, and from base camps in the United States military. Not so scary, is it? Actually, party, yes, maybe just a regular night in my house. To come sometime. But this particular operation met with mixed results. Not as quite as successful as the Ashwick, but it did still scare some of the villagers, making some of the advancements in Vietnam for land a bit easier. Not an overall success, a minor one, but still interesting nonetheless. So I guess it really does confirm what we've all known. Vampires. Room. Ghosts suck. I know, it should really be the other way around.
I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dear Dear Tonight. If it's one thing we've learned is that the mind is very tricky. And sometimes the scariest things are what you don't see. Mm. Well, it's time for me to enjoy a little bump in the night myself. I will see you soon on another DRD tonight. Until then, my darlings, misbehave. It's much more fun. <laughs>